Hello, welcome to another wiki procedure and today we are going to look on how you can obtain a dairy product export permit in Kenya. Down here below we have given you a link which is going to direct you to our wiki procedure website page where we have given you detailed information on how you can go about the application process. Additionally, on the right hand side of our screen we have included a select language option. Through this option, you can select the language which you easily understand or comprehend. And by clicking this downward pointing arrow, uh, you can select uh, the language which you easily un understand from the list of languages displayed. And by choosing uh, the your language of option, all the information on our wiki procedure website page will be displayed uh, in the language of your choice and you can easily read through the instruction uh, in the language of your choice. But you can easily revert back to English by clicking again on the downward pointing arrow and selecting English. Additionally, we've included links to uh, other channels, other websites where you can visit and get more information on how you can go about the uh, export uh, dairy product export permit application. And uh, you can easily visit these uh, websites by clicking on the links provided. We have also de given you detailed uh, information on how you can go about the application process. We are going to go through this uh, information as we move on with the presentation today. But before we move on, I'll add you to hit the like button, subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell on our Wiki, Wiki Procedure YouTube uh, channel. Uh, so you can get notifications every time we upload new content on our YouTube channel. So let's get back to our presentation. And the list of items which we are going to cover in this session include the need for the exportation licenses, the eligibility criteria, the required documents, steps to follow in making the applications, the fees, validity period, processing time, office location and contact information, and any other information that we may find relevant on how to obtain the dairy product export permit in Kenya. So welcome to our presentation today, which is brought to you by wikiprocedure.com. The need for the exportation permit. The dairy produce exportation permit allows one to export dairy produce from Kenya. Exportation permits are important in the regulating of the dairy industry and it facilitates regular inspections to ensure compliance to milk quality and safety requirements. In Kenya, no person is allowed to export dairy produce without a permit issued by the Kenya Dairy Board. The eligibility criteria. Persons intending to export dairy produce out of Kenya to sell to other countries are elig eligible to make the application for the dairy product as export permit. The required documents. Identity cards, passports are required, uh, copies of your PIN certificate and VAT certificate, medical certificate for milk handling personnel, no objection certificate from the veterinary department, parking list and the payment receipt for the export permit are required. The steps to follow in making the, uh, the application are as follows. First of all, let's mention that uh, an export permit is uh, only issued to uh, the applicant if he and she obtains a veterinary approval C certificate or letter stating that the milk to be exported is fit and that it meets the health requirements of the importing country. This certificate of no objection or veterinary approval is a prerequisite document and should be obtained before making the milk exportation permit application. This application, you need to know, can only be done in in person. So after you have, uh, so the first step is to obtain a milk, uh, uh, is to obtain a certificate of no objection from the veterinary department, stating that the dairy produce to be exported is fit and that it meets the health requirements of the receiving country. After that, you're supposed to contact the nearest Kenya Dairy Board office to make uh, the application for exportation permit. And a list of the Kenya Dairy Board offices branches can be downloaded through uh, the following link right here. And here uh, in the offices, you'll be given an application form to fill and submit. For exports, uh, you'll be given an application to export milk and milk products. That's form number two to fill and submit. Uh, you will also be asked to pay an application fee of 600 uh, shillings for the inspection for inspection by the Kenya Dairy Board and submit also the required documents. We have already mentioned the required documents. After you have paid the 600 shillings, uh, the Kenya Dairy Board officers uh, will visit uh, your processing premises to carry out inspections on the premises and the dairy products to be uh, exported. 
Inspections will be carried out to determine if the process, processing premises meets the Kenya Dairy Board hygienic and operation requirements and the milk to be exported and if the milk to be exported is fit and that it meets the health requirements of the importing country. Upon success, uh, uh, successful results from the inspection, you will be required to pay the requisite export permit fees of 1,000 shillings per consignment. And after uh, making the payment, you will be issued with an export permit for dairy produce, which is form number 4, and the process takes uh, 3 days. Uh, the permit is valid for 90 days and is viable for one consignment only. And you can export immediately you receive uh, the exportation permit. I uh, present the, export, uh, the exportation uh, of dairy produce permit to your freight forwarder so as to uh, so that the freight f so as to facilitate with the exportation uh, exercise and you need to note that the non compliance of permit rules and regulations can lead to the suspension of the permit and revocation of future application so uh, let's just take a quick look on how uh, this uh, application document looks like you need to note that uh, this uh, form is not available online and can only and is only available at the Kenya Dairy Board offices. So, uh, the form number two, uh, the application to export milk and milk uh, products. So you are supposed to fill the your name, your PIN number, your VAT number, your address, email, uh, business location. Uh, the commodity which uh, you are supposed which you want to export. Uh, the quantity in figures, uh, if it's in liters in, uh, or in kilograms, quanti uh, uh, the value in words, uh, the cost, insurance and freight figures in words, or in figures and value in words, a country of origin which is Kenya, um, the destination, which country you want to export to, uh, the, ex uh, the expiration date of the dairy product, date of manufacture, the export route, at the point of entry, if you are going by air or by ship, uh, which uh, port of exit are you using, shipment date, uh, storage premises, uh, the town uh, where uh, you are supposed to uh, deliver the goods and where you are supposed to store it, uh, and sign the declaration that you have understood and uh, that every every detail that you have provided is uh, correct and after you've uh, finished uh, filling in this uh, you are supposed to submit it with the required documents uh, with the veterinary approval letter and all the required documents submit it uh, to the Kenya Dairy Board uh, offices they are going to send uh, uh, officers to come and inspect your premises uh, together with the produce to be to be exported to see if everything uh, meets the requirements or uh, the health and quality requirements of the importing country and if everything is in order you are now supposed to pay the uh, uh, you are supposed to pay the the 1000 shilling for you to be issued with the form number 4 which is the export permit for dairy produce and this uh, form number 4 uh, states the products which you are supposed which you want to export and it's valued for 90 days and this is uh, you'll be issued after you've paid the 1000 shillings uh, you'll be uh, the date of issued issuing date will be uh, stated here and the expiry date will be stated here and you need to note that uh, this permit is only uh, for one consignment and cannot be reused okay so let's move on the permit fees is 1000 shilling for one consignment uh, the application fee is 600 shillings for inspection of your goods. The validity period is 90 days and for one consignment only. So you need to export within three months after you have made the application. Uh, the processing time, uh, it takes a maximum of seven days, but a minimum of three days to complete. Office location and contact information of the Kenya Dairy Board. Their head office is located at the Social Security House, Bishop Road, Nairobi, Kenya. And you can visit them through their website of www.kenyadairyboard.co.ke. And also, you can visit their online licensing portal of portal.kdb.co.ke. Other information is that uh, a permit is required for each consignment to be exported or imported. Uh, 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 both for import and exports, you, you only uh, you you need one 
a permit per consignment and an export permit will uh, not be issued unless the applicant obtains a veterinary approval uh, that the milk to be exported is fit and the, uh, that the uh, is fit and that it meets the health requirement of the importing country so uh, that's it for the applications and thank you for watching our presentation today as you have seen it's quite simple to obtain a, a milk uh, exporting permit uh, first of all, get your no objection approval. After that, visit the Kenya Dairy Board. They'll give you the form number two, application for milk and uh, to export milk and milk products to fill and submit. Uh, pay the 600 shillings for inspection and submit the required documents. They'll come uh, dairy uh, product. Uh, the Kenya Dairy Board officers will come and expect, uh, inspect your premises to see if everything is in order and uh, and if uh, everything meets the health requirements of the importing country you're supposed to pay the uh, export permit fee of 1000 shilling per consignment and you'll be issued with the export permit which is form number four which is valid for 90 days and is viable for one consignment so that's it with the uh, application procedure and uh, i wish you all the best before we conclude hit the like button hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you can get notifications every time we upload new content on our youtube channel so all the best and have a good day